Hi, this is Mohamed Sokat and Manos Prilakis presenting case 259 for the Manual of Percutaneous Coronary Interventions. This is a case illustrating difficulties with support from the guide catheter using radial axis. The patient was a gentleman with multiple risk factors who presented with inferior ST segment myocardial infarction, good pressure, but some bradycardia. Diagnostic angiography showed severe disease in the diagonal branch, some diffuse disease in the LAD and the circumflex, but the culprit was the right coronary artery that had multiple high-grade lesions. The diagnostic angiogram was done through radial access using a TIG catheter. It was challenging to deliver the catheter because of subclavian tortuosity. The usual guide we use for PCI of the right coronary through radial access is an AL1, but unfortunately we were unable to engage the right coronary artery because of the significant subclavian tortuosity. We eventually were able to engage, however, using a 6 French I carry right 1.0 guide, and then wired with a workhorse wire. We predilated, and then we tried uh, to deliver a stand. But this was unsuccessful due to poor guide support, and while trying to sit the guide more, we had a dampened pressure waveform. So why is the pressure dampened? There is a sequential troubleshooting. The first step is to just pull back on the guide a little bit to make sure it's not against the wall of the vessel. The second one is to aspirate it in case any thrombus or plaque has entered into the guide catheter. The third one is to check the transducer. Sometimes the connections can become loose. And then we look for kink either outside the body or inside the body using fluoroscopy. And if that doesn't work, then we just remove the guide the important thing is we do not want to inject or we do not want to insert a wire because if it's a clot, it may be pushed inside the body. So in our case, this was the problem. We did have a kinking of the proximal part of the Icari guide, just um, distal to the proximal hub. This is why the pressure was dampened, but the good news were that it was not a complete kink and equipment could still have gone through. If it was a complete pressure dampening, sometimes there is a severe kink and equipment cannot be advanced. But because we still had uh, the ability to advance equipment through the guide, we were able to advance a supportive wire, a grand slam, that is 300 centimeters long, and then we use that wire for support to remove the kinked I carry right guide. And then we were able to advance over this um, Grand Slam wire, a six friends AL1 guide catheter. So this is an example of exchanging guide catheter over a supportive body guide wire. This can be the Grand Slam, this can be the Wiggle wire, this can be the Mailman. There are several supportive body wires like this. After doing that, and after using a guide extension, we were able to successfully deliver stents and treat the entire proximal, mid, and distal RCA. We decided to leave some disease on the posterior lateral, and that provided a nice result with resolution of the symptoms. The patient had stage beside of the linear diagonal just before he went home. As some information about the guides used in this case, we did use the Icari right, and the advantage of this catheter is that it has a little more backup support compared with the JR4. The JR4 doesn't really lean against the opposite wall of the aorta, and as a result, it doesn't provide strong support. It comes out easily, whereas the Icari right gives a little more support. However, the Icari right one is um, shorter and provides less support than the Icari 1.5, or the AL1, which was actually the guide that was used in our case to finish uh, the delivery of equipment. So in summary, when you see pressure dampening, go through the algorithm. It is very important to exclude kinking of the guide that was the cause of dampening in this case. Once there is a kink catheter, one way to avoid losing our position is to advance a supportive wire, such as the Grand Slam, inside the coronary artery. The wire should be 300 centimeters long, and then this wire can be used to remove the kinked guide and advance another guide catheter, as we did in our case. Finally, for complex PCI of the right through radial axis, but also through femoral axis, using the AL1 guide provides the best support. The Icari right 
might uh, facilitate engagement but does not provide as strong support as the AL1 guide. Thank you.